G'day, Lemon Eating Cow here. Today I am back with another Dragon's Dogma 2 video, and this time I'm going to be going over clever use of game mechanics, or in other words, an exploit that gives you nearly unlimited money, can also dupe some pretty good weapons and armor, and some important key items in the game. First off, I do believe that this is an exploit, so use at your own risk. I doubt there would be bans involved, but it is a possibility, so uh, just be aware of that. So there is a couple of things you're going to set up before you actually do this trick. Primarily, you're going to need two different accounts, whether this be you and your mate able to talk to each other in real time and organize this, or if it's you making two accounts yourself to share the one license of the game. I know this is very easy to do on consoles and free once you have the initial license, but I'm not sure about the PC or Steam version. So with those two accounts, you're going to need one that is fairly established in the game with good access to resources and towns and such. And for the other account, they can be pretty much anywhere in the game as long as they're at a point where they can reach the first rift stone and maybe they'll need a little bit of resources just to uh, buy a couple of items here and there but it shouldn't really be too much for the initial outlay you could probably do this on the first town that you reach these two accounts will also need to be friends within whatever console environment you're playing on now that we have that account stuff out of the way, let's get into the actual method. So on the main account or the donor account, we're going to need a couple of things. What we're going to need is a giving and receiving item. So for the receiving item, we this is the item we want to receive that's very easily obtainable. I'm going to be using the explosive arrow just because you can get it quite near the start of the game and they're pretty plentiful as well. But you could use any number of consumables that you can get at the start of the game. Fruit Robberant is actually a pretty good one as well. Then we're going to be using the item that we want to duplicate. In this case, it's going to be the Onyx because the Onyx is sells in Vermont for uh, over 2,400 gold and we can do it up to a stack of 12 at once. Despite being able to stack up to 99, you will only be able to do 12 at once. Now this method does work for a range of different items and armors and weapons and such, as well as important quests and uh, items in the game, but not every single item. You'll need to do some experimentation with yourself uh, to see what works best for you. So yeah, I've got my items here, and then after that, I'm going to create a hard save. Now, resting at an in gives me what I call a hard save because you're able to access it at any time through the menu as um, resume your save from the in. Whereas the other saving, when you uh, get to certain points in the story, or you go in a rift, or you exit out of the game through the menu, it will give you a soft save, which is actually been easy to overwrite if you load your in save. So now that we've got that established on our main donor account, we're going to head to the nearest Rift Summoning Stone. So once you're in the Rift Summoning Stone, we're going to go to examine and then set a pawn quest. Now, if you don't have this unlocked already, if you're a very new account or a very new game, you won't have this unlocked. It'll be grayed out and it'll be set to a quest of having to have your uh, pawn stay with someone for a day and a night. Now, in this instance, the only way around this is to get someone to hire your pawn. I used my alternative account to hire my own pawn, and then I was able to have my pawn quest. After you have hired that pawn, all you have to do is stay at an inn, and you will be able to get access to this. A full guide will be in the description below. Anyway, once you have that unlocked, we're going to go to request for other players. So we're going to go down to acquire item, and you can see there's a range of different items you can select, but in this case, we're going to go with that explosive arrow and we're only going to request one of them so that's the item we're going to be given and for the item we're going to give to players we can either select gold which is 10,000 gold is the limit here or we can go to items and we can actually give them those precious gems that we found before and they'll be worth far more so you can see there's a stack of 12 here 12 is the max that we can give despite having more in the stack but we'll go ahead and give them 12. so once we've done that just come down to confirm and then leave the rift you'll see that you'll get a little saving circle up in the top right hand corner and the next bit is quite important what we want to do is either just totally swap onto our other account or exit out and save here make sure you don't sleep at an inn at this point. What we want to do is switch over accounts. So on the PlayStation, I'm just going to press the PlayStation button, go to switch user, and then go over to my other receiving account, which is the Cow Lemon. 
So here we are on my other account. You can see I'm only level nine and my pawns are level nine. I've only just got into the first major city and I've established my hard save by sleeping at the inn. And what I'm just wanting to get on this character is one of those items that I wanted to receive on the other account. So in this case, it was an explosive arrow. So whatever you choose for that to be, whether it be a robber ant or any other item, just make sure your character has at least one of these. But ideally, you're gonna want at least eight of them. So head back into the rift and touch on the summoning stone here and then we're going to go for search for a pawn and go down to friends pawns. This is why it's important you have those two accounts linked via friends. And we're gonna to go to our pawn here and summon in the pawn. Now you can summon the pawn via various other means, but I haven't got anything to really consistently work. There must be something about the loading or something else that goes on by the other search methods. It kind of breaks this, but with the friend method, I've been able to get this to work 100% of the time consistently. So here we have Mikyong come in with my uh, main account's pawn. And what I'm gonna do is click on her and then we're gonna go to higher. You'll see it's free because we're friends despite the massive um, difference in our level. And while we're still in the rift, it's important we don't go anywhere. What we're gonna do is give item. We're gonna give her one explosive arrow and we'll see the quest that she has got will actually reward me those 12 onyx that I put in my other account's quest. So the exploit comes in at this point. What we're gonna do is actually dismiss. You'll see that I can't hand in another item. We're gonna dismiss. You don't have to give an item or anything to them. You can just cancel the gift, give them the thumbs up or none if you don't wanna skew the, uh, the likes and whatever method. And then we're just gonna go back to the stone go to search for a pawn, friends pawn, and then summon that same pawn back again. Now this is the problem with if you do anything outside of the friends list, it seems to be that point that breaks this uh, cycle or sync. So we're gonna go up to Minkyong again and we're gonna hire her. And you'll see we can give item again. So despite only giving one of the explosive arrows, we'll deliver it to her and you'll see that we got another 12 of those onyx. If we talk to Minkyong and go to dismiss, we can see that they're actually duplicating by the fact that we've got 24 in our inventory now. Again, we can keep on doing this as long as we have the arrows in our inventory and we don't go out of the rift or initiate a loading or a saving screen, we can keep on doing this over and over and over again. If you've given the pawn some items and then left the rift, it will close that loop on the dupe here. And in order to get it working again, you'll need your friend or your other account to reset the quest or resend the quest again, and then you'll be able to rehire the pawn and continue doing the duping loop. This is important because the gems only stack to 99, so you will wanna sell them at some point. In order to make this save stick, then make sure you go back and rest at the inn for your hard save. But once you've done that, you are good to go and you are good to sell whatever items you please. In this case, I can sell the 20, I can sell the 36, but I could also just sell the 24, and then I could also establish this glitch on this side of my account. So if you wanted to send items back and forth, you could set up the same dupe on both sides. So you're sending items back and forth each time. Now, the other important thing here is if on your main donor account, you gave away a valuable item and you don't actually want to lose that item, you don't actually need to at all. So when you go back into your donor or main account, what you want to do is load from last in rest. Now, this is the hard save that we were talking about. As you can see, I am back now in the bed. And if we have a look in our items, I still have those 12 onyx that I offered up for a reward on the other one. So this works by my hard save then overriding that soft save where I did offer up the quest in the, um, the rift to give people those 12 onyx. So the game doesn't really know that I've actually given those out because my hard save has overridden my soft save. This is super handy if you want to duplicate armor and weapons as well. But like I said, it is not every armor or weapon. If you guys can give me um, a bit of a breakdown on if you know why particular items go up for um, gift or quest rewards, then please let me know in the comment section below. So guys, thank you very much for sticking with me on that one. I know it was a little bit convoluted and definitely a long video. I'm sure someone else will come out with a more concise and um, better clicked video than mine. But um, 
yeah, in the meantime, I hope that one has helped you out and best of luck. If this did help you out, then please leave a like. If you've got any comments or suggestions or any ways to streamline this or make it better, then leave it down in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo!